Today I'm in Singapore, very small but developed country in South Asia and I travel over 6,000 miles in order to get here with only one mission is to visit an epic aquarium store specializes in freshwater aquarium shrimp. It was my dream for a very long time to do that so I'm very excited because today is finally happening. And this is the shop I was talking about. It's called Shrimp's Affair and this is Tarek, the owner of the shop. Hi. Tarek is a professional shrimp breeder and this is what he does for a living. He breeds and sells shrimp in his shop. What an awesome job. Here he has hundreds of thousands of rare and exotic shrimp. I would say almost all known species of freshwater shrimp live in his store and most of them I saw for the very first time. So there are over 160 aquariums here with the beautiful shrimp and we are going through all of them today. Every thanks, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was Tarek's reaction yeah, when I said that. In the beginning I didn't realize it takes so much time. It's gonna be a huge tour, so grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Okay, so let's start our so, and we're gonna start with neocardinia tanks. Mm. So what, what we have here? This is the BKK neo. So they're basically the black color. Black color is the, the optimal version. So of yeah. course they do give birth to some red, which outside they are selling it as red onyx now. So that the red, I choose fire red, so... So the fire red is in the next one. Yeah, they're looking cool. Oh. Blue fantasy. Blue fantasy, mm -hmm. normally we focus on two variations of blue. The head is supposed to be dark blue, and mm -hmm. the body is supposed to be opaque blue. So there's two shades of blue. Then the other one is this is the orange really. So they are orange really, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I very really like them actually. Mm. Yeah. I always want to have them orange really. Yeah, that's quite nice. Mm. Yeah. And what then the other are? one is the black or the blue really, because blue the thing really, is yeah. that the blue really actually is a variation from the black. So yeah. normally for us we just put them together. Like. So this then one. Sun kiss. Yeah, beautiful shrimp. So the thing about neos actually is quite yeah. simple to see gender from far. Yeah, of course we don't talk about their antenna, we don't yeah. talk about their body shape. For yeah. nails, the easiest way to look is their coloration. Coloration, yeah. yeah. Because normally the males, they are not as fancy or the color will not be as nice as the female. Yeah. But of course when we look closely at it, we look at the body shape, we look yeah. at the antenna, we look at everything. So for example, here you have a very bright color, so they mostly all female. So yes, this one yes. Is because female, the thing is, yeah. retail shop, yeah. if I net a lot of males, like yeah. you see now, this piece of, yeah. of the male. You yeah. can see the male coloration is not that nice. Yeah, if my yeah, whole yeah. tank is full of this, yeah. nobody will buy. And so what they are the, here? These are the yellow crossback. Mm -hmm. Or somebody call them, some of the guys call them golden crossback or yellow fireback. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different names, but for us, we just give that. It's yellow to me, and there's a crossback line. That's right. And after that will be the red really. Red really, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. After that will be snowball. Not many of them here. Yeah. <laughs> because we were having some sales. What, what is the best water parameters for Neo Um I wouldn't say that's a best because they are very versatile. So And they can adapt to a lot of different parameters. Mm -hmm. But for us, when we breed them, we give them slightly more alkaline pH, mm -hmm. which ours is around 7.6 to 8.3. For, mm -hmm. for me, why this pH? Because at this pH, I find that they breed better and faster. Yeah. Then, of course, we do use our water, distilled water still. So you remineralize our yes. water for yes. them? Yes, My KH is around one to three. So not very Two, high, not very but high, to yeah. me, it's more than enough. And you don't add any KH, so you, no. you have... My rocks itself You have a special have, rocks, right? Yeah, our rocks are from Sulawesi, so this rocks itself will actually enable your, your KH to be one to uh -huh. two or three. That's so it's map. a special lava rocks inside, yeah? You have from Sulawesi. Yeah, from for Sulawesi. Sulawesi. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sulawesi. So that's buffer your pH in the yes. water, yeah? Yes. Okay. And the pH. And the pH Re as well, yeah. Yes. I can see today, uh -huh. one of the stream, <laughs> yeah. finding food. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just right inside yeah, the UGF. Finding yeah. food, finding yeah. algae to eat. <laughs> to me, because the things that our UGF box, even when you see streamlets inside or big stream inside, there's no need to worry because they will just come out wherever they want. So this hole itself enables them to go in and out wherever they yeah. want. So let's move to the Caridina shrimp now. Yeah? The first one, PBL, pure black line. Yeah. So they are breeding, so... Oh yeah, there's lots of babies here. Take a yeah, look, yeah. yeah. Lots of babies. Mm. So you have lots of green uh, walls in the tanks. Mm, to and me, this is, is, it, is it important for shrimps? Algae provide constant sources of food for shrimplet. That's why yeah. I don't really feed them powder food. If you have a lot of like thick substrate or even a one thin layer of substrate, all this powder food will go below and in the end, your nitrate is going to shoot because a lot of things are going to happen. That is going to yeah. cause a lot of issues. When you have streamlet, the streamlet, majority of them will be always be on the wall, unless yeah. we are feeding. Because yeah. when we are feeding, they will be 
just waiting beside and see yeah. any leftover fruit from the adult. But don't have to worry that they go hungry or anything. Right. I travel for two months, I don't yeah. feed my shrimp. Oh, really? Okay. And yeah. they are well. Your water level is there. Yeah, your so this is RO is water. Yeah, RO water, water, pure RO water. Not so as long as you have a top off, yeah. no issue. Of course, yeah. there may be a slight fluctuation, but because it's a controlled environment, so there's not much of issue. When I say controlled environment in the aircon room, that is a controlled environment because yeah. everywhere is constant. Water top off when it evaporates, because in aircon room, evaporation rate is very high. So it's mm -hmm. a must to have your auto top off working. Yeah. So what we have here in this tank? The black nanasi. These yeah, are the yeah. cow shrimp or the gin shrimp from Black GT. The well, they Black cost Galaxy quite a lot. Like yeah, uh, one for forty dollars. Because yeah. the thing is, they Sorry. even as a gin shrimp, they are having very high ratio of the GT. You can see some GT inside. What is GT, sir? Galaxy Tiger. Oh, Galaxy Tiger. Galaxy okay. Tiger. Yes. What is the difference between Nanasi and Galaxy Tiger? I always want to know. About um, this. Galaxy Tiger I actually cross from Galaxy and Nanasi. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the thing is. They are gene stream, so we don't really call them GT. Uh -huh. Outside, you get, do get some GT at a very low price because those are the gene stream born from gene stream. So at the end of the day, because when we look at stream breeding, we look at the genetic. Uh -huh. So later, we will look at the blue boat. You'll be shocked. What is my cow blue boat? You will be shocked. What we have next here? This one is the PRL. PRL. So PRL, yeah. we have a lot of different grading. Oh yeah, yeah. this a is a high grade, yeah? Mm, I would say slightly above, slightly oh, so above average. Mm -hmm. But the thing about PRL is forever calling. Mm -hmm. It's forever calling, no matter what. Of course, the genetic do works, but the thing is, it's still a never ending process for PRL because yeah. you will never be satis satisfied with it. We yeah. look at the body, yeah. we look at the whiteness. It's always a way to improve. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And other, and at the end of the day, after we are fine with everything, their legs are not red. But <laughs> that, that is the thing Maybe about Maybe it's PIR. a perfect body, but not perfect leg. Yes. Or opposite way, yeah? Yeah. There's Mozura. Mozura. The different pattern, there's Mozura. There's no entry, there's Hino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, inside the three different types. No entry, Mozura, yeah. Yeah. Okay. White and red, yeah? yeah. yeah. Mozura, head is mm -hmm. red and the body is white. Yeah. Full white. That's the yeah. Mozura. Yeah. After that, you can see this big piece here with full red legs. Yeah. And with a dot in the middle. Yeah. In the center of the body, we call it Hino. Mm -hmm. No entry. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, no yeah. entry. Yeah. Well, and after that is the red calcio dragon. Yeah. Uh, you can see a berry mama, and actually there's quite a lot of shrimp blood also. Lots of shrimp is here in this tank. Yeah. So people normally don't buy the young shrimps. The young shrimps is going to be the same price. Normally yeah. the berry females will be gone very fast if the customer is choosing it. Like. And the berry females is the same price, yeah? Uh, to me, so long they are inside, they are going to be the same price. Yeah, and gonna, your I customer mean, normally they, they net the shrimps themselves. You give them a net, they, they just choose. Or like I say, I, I ask them if you want me to choose for you, I random net. I don't yeah. really see, I just yeah, random yeah. net. But yeah. the thing is, if you want to choose yourself, Help yourself. Help yourself. Yeah. It's okay. So what we have here? This one is the red nana sea. Also the gene shrimp from red GT. Majority of all springs will be looking like nana galaxy tiger. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because the thing is that galaxy tigers is supposed to have the galaxy spots of galaxies on their face. So majority of them when they are born, they don't have that spots. When they grow and as they mold, they slowly develop more and more spots. But to me, those are gene shrimp. Because what I want is from young till they die, their spots all remain the same or it become more and more. But they must have the spots or traits when they are young. So these are the things that cannot be seen when the shrimps are old. Like you can see in the market, some of them they sell you a, a, a Nanasi for $10 or $5. But they tell you GT. They tell you it's a GT because it looks like a GT. Like something like this. It looks like a GT when they are young. Mm -hmm. This is already a GT. They already bear the spots. But yeah. to me, because they are born in this tank, so they will never go back to their main tank. Okay. They will never go back to their main tank. So they will remain here as a gene tree. So what we have here in this tank? Indian zebra. They don't fight for food like the rest of the curry dinner. Uh, okay. They don't fight. They will just so stay down there and they eat their share. Yeah, so they're not yeah. very active. Sure, yes, yeah? yes. So you would say, okay, what we have here down here? Oh, this is the black pinto, uh -huh. but we galaxy genes means they are born from galaxies. Okay. But from young, they don't have the galaxy spot, same as same as the nanasi. So we just put them here as selling them as black pinto. Of course, uh -huh. they do carry the 
galaxy genes, but the chances are low. So you do see some galaxies inside for sure. sure I think they're not too expensive, only seven Singapore No, because these are all very common shrimps. Uh, for they're now, very common for, now. Yeah, yeah, for now, they are used, very, very used common. used to be very rare mm -hmm. yeah, before. Then so. the other one, we have the yellow king kong. Yellow king kong, yeah. 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 So you do see a lot of streamlet, a lot yeah. of berry females walking around. Yeah, I can see a lot of streamlets mm. here. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, breed quite easily. They breed quite easily. Then this one is another tank or a red fancy. Red fancy tiger. Mm, oh yes, mm, it's mm. not an awesome grade. Yeah, mm, it's just, no, just, no, a just middle, normal grade. Normally normal guys grade. will get this for their planted tank yeah. and all. Because even they die or not, they <laughs> don't feel the heart pain. Huh? Yeah. These yeah. are the orange eye black king kong. Orange eye black king kong. Yep. Wow. So, Let's very obvious. That. Orange eye and they are black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just fully black body, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Full black no stripes body. or anything, yeah. That's cool. It's a cross for OE meeting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, beautiful. So these are the spotted pinto, red spotted pinto. I don't call it German line because mine is from Taiwan. I can see the water a little bit. It's time to reset. It's time to reset. <laughs> it's so time that's to what reset. normally happens. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So and the thing is when, when it's time to reset, you get yeah. to see the UGF will start throwing out a little bit of the soy powder because soy in the long run it will definitely deplete down into powder. Yeah. And you can so, see at the bottom of UGF yes, you yes. have some kind of like a dust. Yes, yes. Those are down, the soy yeah. powder. Yes, yeah. those are the soy powder. So the other one will be the blue dragon. Uh, they are blue dragon. Yes, uh, the blue calcio. Uh, the blue yeah, calcio, yeah. Or calcio or calcio. calcio. Yeah. Yeah. But I just call them blue dragon or the red dragon. I don't keep the black because I breed streams that I like. The black one is not more towards my fancy, so I don't really breed them. So I have the red, I have the blue, I don't have the black. You want black, you just take the blue and the red, you cross them, you get black. Yeah. Very easy to get black. So what did we have This here? one is the deep blue bolt. Deep blue bolt, yeah? Yes. These blue bolts... Nice. Uh, yeah. They, look they are here cool, yeah? because from young till yeah. they grow old, yeah. they have never lost their blue. There's very tiny ones there. Uh -huh. You, you count out and go to the normal thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So over here, we have the Red Pinto, the Galaxy Jeans Red Pinto. Galaxy Jeans Galaxy Red, Pinto, Jeans Red yeah. Pinto. So we still call yeah. it Red Pinto. Yeah. Okay, so this one is the cow tank for Blue Boat. All right, so it's a cow tank here, yeah? Yes. Let me see that. This is a cow tank for Blue Boat. So yeah. the thing is, when they go in there, they yeah. are all a bit white. And they are not full blue when they are young. Okay. I'll count them out. And they will be inside here. Okay. So from then on, it's up to them. So, so majority of them, because the things that they are cow, and majority yeah. of my lineage of for the blue boat, they will actually grow deep blue when they grow bigger. But yeah. to me, their their genetic still doesn't fit what I want to. So they will still the price of them will be very very low for this. So what they are here? So the other one, this one is a Mozura mine they have not shown me any other things for quite some time. But mm -hmm. we like I say, we don't call them pure because they are still hybrids of the hybrids. So at the end of the day, like you see my blue dragon, my red dragon, haven't thrown me any other things for years, but I don't give them the name pure. Because yeah. the thing, they are still hybrids. This one is the yellow galaxies. So golden galaxies, some people call them as well. Yes. Yeah, I have a group of them as well yep. in my tanks, yeah. Did you make them yourself? No, I did not make them. It's just a hybrid from my black galaxy tank and slowly they develop this color. So mine, when they grow bigger, they will turn slightly orangey or slightly greenish. You can see this piece. You can see there's some trace of black on them. Oh yeah. 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 This one is Tangerine Tiger. Tangerine Tiger, yeah. yeah. So when they are small, they look a bit orangey mm -hmm. and they may look like YKK or Yellow King Kong from far. Mm -hmm. But when they grow bigger, their stripes will develop and they'll be more obvious. So what we so have over here, here is the OEBT, Orange Eye Blue Tiger. Classic Orange Eye Blue Tiger, yeah. yeah. I saw you are keeping some. Yeah, I used to. Used to. No, not used anymore, to. yeah. What they here? This one is the Orange Eye Red King Kong or Red Devil. Oh, what they call yeah. It. Always want to have them. Uh, red hiding, Devils, hiding yeah, they call them. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so these are the Black King Kong Extreme, the full black. Mm -hmm. So the difference between this and the BKK Neo that you see just now, curry dinner, they always have the fan mm -hmm. on the tail. So it's quite very obvious. These are the white red extreme, so the full yeah. red. These are the full red. So they are extreme red King yes, Kong. Yes, extreme yeah. red King Kong, yes. Yeah, and they are extreme black King Kong, yeah. Mm. Over here, yeah. 
This is classic. Another tank of the CRS, yeah. Uh, CRS, yeah. yeah. Then this tank it's will quite be cheap the trim, yeah. Black King Kong. So, so you get Panda and the Stripe pattern inside. Yeah. So there's blue base, there's white base, so depending which type you like. This one, white red, Panda and Stripe. The other one is the purple King Kong, the metallic purple King Kong. So they are purple color, yeah? Yep. Oh, yeah, I can see them. They are almost like uh, like Nanashi. Galaxy Tigers, Nanashi. Yeah. yeah, all the purple KK or purple King Kong, they are yeah. all from Nanashi. It from just Nanasi. came out from our Nanashi cross. And they're quite came expensive, from, $250, yeah. dollars, Singapore yep, dollars yep. per one. Yeah, it's quite For nice. For me, this genetic, I do not really want to sell it cheap uh -huh. because of the... The good genetic, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And I spent I a lot of effort on it. This is your creation, yeah? Basically. Mm, yeah, because the... They just came out from my Nana Sea Cross. So it takes time, la. it takes time. Why I don't want to sell it cheap? Because my, I would say it's quite stable. It's quite stable. Yeah. This one is the Tiger. They are wild caught captive breed. So we got them from the wild side, then we captive okay. breed them. Yeah. Orange Eye Yellow King Kong. Orange Eye Yellow King Kong. So basically they are white. They look like the Yellow King Kong, but they yeah. just have a yellow eye, see, or orange eye. Orange eye, mm. yeah. All my Caridina range PPM will be 80 to 90. The pH will be below 6, 5.5 to 6, around there, roughly there. Then no KH, zero KH. Our DI water, that's it. And I try to keep the tank as simple as possible. You can see majority of my Caridina tanks are empty now. Yeah. On the floor, it's empty. I saw the video from Rio Watanabe mm. before. Yeah, and I saw you had some soil. Yes, yes, I, yeah. a very thin layer. So when yeah. I first set up the tank, like when I reset, I'll yeah. put some a small thin layer there. Yeah. But in as time goes by over the months, I will slowly siphon them out. So you clean your tanks, mm. right? Of course I do clean my tanks. All right. So that's why it's, you have some poop here. You can see that. Yeah. The shape and poop. I just did it yesterday. I was clean. And look at the amount <laughs> of poop in one day. All right, so this is one day poop, yeah? One day. That's why you don't want to keep any substrate so you can vacuum all the easier poop. To, easier for us to maintain the tank yeah. and also easier for, easier for me to see if there's in any issue or any pest in the tank. I would say the, the way to stream keeping is to keep it as simple as possible. possible. Like I say, give the stream what they need and not give them what you need. But if you give them what you need, then you just have to spend more on your pocket. That's for sure, <laughs> no transfer. The, 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 yes. the, the way it doesn't really run, you see, the, the yeah. thing is, why a lot of guys say, hey, how come your tank, majority of the tanks got trimlet, they are breeding and all. And what do you do every day? I say, I don't know, I just feed them every day. I just feed them every day, clean the tank maybe one, once or twice a week. When I do water change, you'll be surprised I can do 80% with the stream inside, so no issue. These are the Galaxy Fishbone. Galaxy Fishbone. Yeah. Mm. You do get some Stardust inside because Stardust are variation from all the galaxies yeah. you see. Yeah. So oh. Fishbone, when we talk about Fishbone, we look from the top, you yeah. can see this line from the head to the tail and you can yeah. see the stripe. So it looks like a Fishbone. For Galaxy Fishbone, the price will... Still high, yeah? Because high. the thing, if you are breeding Fishbone, you will know their Fishbone line will always not be the correct way. Yeah. That's why later when you go and see the galaxy, you will see some line, broken line, but we mm -hmm. are still selling that as galaxy. If they're not perfect, they cost much less, yeah? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, another... Red Fancy uh, Tigers? Yeah, 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 another cow grades of them. Yeah. 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 So they are very popular, Red Fancy Tigers. I can see you have many shrimp tanks of Red Fancy Tigers. No, because the thing about Fancy Tigers is the cow ratio is always very high. So there's a lot of different grades of them. Even they are, you get all the high grades, you are still need to count them. Red Fancy Tigers have been around for quite some time actually. So the thing is their prices are still there for the very nice one or the competition grade ones. The prices are still very high. It's because you get, you want to choose one out of a thousand, mm -hmm. then you get one. Then the thing about Fancy Tigers for competition is a bit hard for you to choose because their, 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 their body pattern is very ir irregular. Yeah. So when we talk about competition, we talk about the similarity. It's very, very hard for you to choose a few pieces. So when you do competition, mm. the shrimps should be very similar to each other, right? Because there's a similarity point. Mm -hmm. So that three pieces or five pieces that you bring must have the similarity. So when we talk about similarity, we look at their spots, their stripes, and the consistency on both sides of the shrimps and on all the three shrimps. So for fancy tigers, it's really a challenge for competition. And over here, these are the galaxies. 
Galaxies, okay. Yep, the Galaxy, so you do see some fish bone inside, but they are fish bone now. Majority of the fish bones are broken line. Mm -hmm. So they will remain here. Even if they grow bigger, like some of them, mm -hmm. the lines are joined, but I will still put them here. And you can see a lot of shrimplets. Yeah, and there. So yeah, a lot of shrimplets. In another here, so. one or two weeks, I'll start calling them. When you breed black pintos, the worst you get will be some blue boats here and there. I'm getting very, very, very little of blue boats now. What we, we as breeders do now is try to purify all the genetics. And it takes time for sure. Like. It takes time for sure. Yeah. And another thing, this one is the Galaxy Tiger. So no, Galaxy tiger. Tigers are normally the... You can see Galaxy spots on their face and you get the Nana Sea body. Yeah. Then those with the line on top, these are what they, they so-called the Galaxy Tiger fish bone. For red Galaxy Tiger, the worst that you get will be red boat. That's for sure. So of course, my job here is to reduce the chances of having red boats. Uh. These are the red galaxies. Red galaxies, yeah. Yep. Okay. So you do get the fish bone and all inside. So I just lump all together. And here, the black galaxy tiger and the black galaxy tiger fish bone. Black galaxy tiger fish bone. Uh, yeah. You do yeah. get to see some reddish one. So normally for me, I always look at genetics. There are certain genetics of the shrimp that I don't really sell very, very cheap. Okay. So, you, so if people buy from you, they, they can be make sure they have a pure genetic shrimp. Yes. No, I wouldn't say that's pure, but the percentage of the offspring will be quite high. I would never call them pure because they are hybrids of the hybrids of the hybrids, so mm -hmm. they will never be pure. It's not pure possible to, to make yes. a pure, pure shrimp. Yes. yes. No, see, yeah. it's not possible, but it takes years or even yes. 10 years or 20 years. Yeah. And you cannot have too much inline breeding because once you get inline breeding, you get a lot of all the genetics will start running. Mm. That's how all the mutations come from also. When there's too much inbreeding and a lot of crossing going on, mm. you will find that your shrimp, they don't grow big, they, especially the golden eyes or the mm. orange eyes. Mm -hmm. When they grow to like 1 cm, mm -hmm. all of them start dying off for no reason. Mm -hmm. But that one is because of the genetics. It's because of the genetics. And especially new cross which I'm doing myself now, the OE purple, I'm doing it myself. But the thing is, I already have some, but when they grow to 1 cm, they start dying off, they start dying off, they start dying off. So it takes time, it takes time. And from here, we have the boars, the red boars. The red boar. There are some stardust inside also. Stardust as well. Mm. Beautiful shrimp, uh, very good leg coloration as mm. well. 600 per shrimp. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, but you don't That's need okay. a lot to get yeah. it done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then another one is um, my highest grade of the red fancy tigers. Red fancy tigers, the highest yeah, grade. Yeah, yeah. For me, la, for me. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. For fancy tigers, there's a lot of different variations. People like white base, that, that, uh, yeah. people who like red base. For yeah. me, I like both. La, so all of them are all together. They're perfect. They have mm. a very nice leg mm. and a nice body coloration as well. The beautiful shrimp here. So you think the fancy tiger are very popular among the uh, Caridina shrimp, yeah? Especially this one, two year, he has yeah. actually grown interest for a lot of hobbies in, in, over here in Singapore, even overseas. Of course, the prices are high because... It's still high, yeah, I can see that. It's yeah. always high, and yeah. it was like two, three K yeah, yeah. a piece. <laughs> yeah, so it's not high anymore, yes? Slowly, <laughs> it will start going down. Slowly, it will start going down. The yeah. thing about me how i price my stream is my breeding ratio yeah. so if the breeding ratio goes up higher i have a lot more the yeah. price will slowly start dropping yeah. that's for sure so yeah. the thing is that at the end of the day i need to see their genetics mm -hmm. i need to see my cow ratio so here we yeah, have we have the boar as well boar, the black one or the blue ones mm -hmm. and the sardas sardas and, yeah. uh, and, so, and you have the golden ones with a bit of reddish yeah, yeah, I can see the reddish yep. back. Yeah. So let's so, move to the next yeah, one. Yep. Another one. species that is gaining a lot of popularity is the black fancy tiger. Black so the, fancy tiger. Yes, yes. The and Sulawesi. Sulawesi shrimp room. Yeah? Definitely not for beginner. This room doesn't have aircon, I can see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's just a fan blowing in. So fan there's only in. the fan. And that is because the Sulawesi shrimp is quite, needs quite warm water, um, right? Cannot be too cold. Can't yeah. be too cold. Yeah, so yeah. I would say. 25-ish to 29, they cannot be too warm also. If you are the expert in shrimp keeping, you can try to keep them. Why when I say expert? Because if you go into your room or you go into your tank and you see all your shrimp die and you got no feeling, okay, good to go. <laughs> <laughs> they are so timid and when I when we try to net shrimp for customer, yeah. we do disturb them also. And the thing is that when they are being disturbed, they moat. 
Yeah. And when they boat, they may die from it. And when they start jumping around in the tank, one jump, the rest may start to jump. Few years ago, I let a customer net our Sula, he netted 10, in the end, my whole tank died after two hours. Everything inside that. <laughs> so from then on, I told myself, okay, no. Normally when I net Sula VC for my customer, actually I always tell, it's good to let me know early, means you message us, then I'll net out the stream and quarantine them first for a good minimum 20 to 30 minutes so that I know they do not mode after that. Because when you net them, they are also being stressed. If your light is too strong, yeah and you hold it on timer and suddenly it's just on they may start springing around yeah. and they will die <laughs> <laughs> all right so keeping so, solar vc you must understand so it's a hardcore shape. one word yeah death so <laughs> if you're okay with it yeah. they are very nice very beautiful species very nice you can come take a look over here these yeah. are the i think this is, should be one of the species that brought everyone to solar vc the white socks mm -hmm. So okay. white socks, yeah. White socks. Why white socks? Because there's two white legs in front of them. Yeah. So, yeah. They all mostly hiding, yeah, the yeah, shrimps. Yeah. That's their nature. There's a lot of species. I have around 13, 13 species of Sulawesi that we mm -hmm. are breeding. So, so there's Taipa. So Taipa is the one that they call it pink boxer. Now you can see one that's moving like a pink box like, like a boxer now. This is the only species that move their hands like that. Uh-huh. Mm. So it's quite popular also. Although they don't have much coloration. This is uh, another species called red line. Red line, yeah? Red line. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's very obvious why they are called red line because it's across their body. They are not very easy species also. So long we see, I would say the easier ones will be blue fossil. Do you have them here? Yeah, yeah blue fossil is here. So they yeah. are the easiest ones? So. Um, easier species. Easier species. Mm. Okay. So they call blue Blue leg fossil. Actually, yeah. their body is a bit translucent. So they only have their blue tail and their blue legs. Uh -huh. yep. So we call them blue fossil. Then another one will be white socks. White socks, yeah. yeah. And another species that will. So they are also easy to keep, yeah, the white socks. Easier, easier. Easy wow. species. They are beautiful. One, I would like to have them because you can see the legs very well. This is one of the species that bring a lot of guys to slow VC shrimps. And they are not shy in nature. This is my favorite by far. White orchid. Oh. You can see all them are gathering around eating my food. Yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of species of Sulawesi, you are able to see them coming over to, to munch. Like white, yeah, yeah. white socks, they are munching. But you see, yeah. because we are here, yeah. so they are being very shy. And you can see, yeah, yeah, yeah. they just jump off. Yeah. You actually, when we go off, they will actually munch on my food. Yeah. They will actually I munch think on they mold because they saw us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mini blue. Mini blue. Yeah. They look like reddish, but when we actually focus on them and take a good shot of them, they actually have the tiny mini blue spots on their body. Uh -huh. That's how the name came about. It's a bit hard to focus unless we are actually doing a macro shots on them. One of the hardest species to keep for Sulawesi. Uh -huh. yeah, a lot of guys wanted to keep them and it's called Harley Quinn. There you are, <laughs> all on the rocks. Wow. Oh. oh. You see? Yes. <laughs> How timid they are. <laughs> no, they are beautiful, really. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. But they are just very, very timid. Yeah. But that's their nature that we can't change. Tigris. Tigris. Yeah. They may look a little bit like Harley Quinn, but their stripes are different. They are all vertical stripes. Yeah. And have you seen Sulawesi snail before? No, I haven't seen them. You haven't seen them? The big one? Yeah. Okay, they can see two babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sulawesi snails actually good to have but not too many because their bio load is very high. All snails oh, really? bio load are very very high. So that's the reason why you don't keep snails in your tanks, right? Yeah, majority I don't really keep, keep because the thing is the bio load is way too high and the, they are good cleaners mm -hmm. but the amount of poo they produce or ammonia they produce is way too high. It may crash your ecosystem if you have too much snails. Oh really? Because okay. of the amount of ammonia they are producing. And if one start dying, I can guarantee you everything will start dying because of the fresh. It takes a long time for your ecosystem to eat up everything inside. Yeah. Yellow chick and yellow nose. Yellow chick, they have some yellow spots on their body. Those uh -huh. are yellow chick. You can see there's one yellow chick here. Uh -huh. This one yeah, is yeah, yellow yeah, chick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one is yellow chick. Yellow nose is this. Very obvious why yellow nose. You can see the nose is yellow. Yeah, yeah. This one is the Sulawesi version of a galaxy. Galaxy, Sulawesi, uh, galaxy. Sulawesi galaxy. Yeah. So there's black and there's red version of it. This one is Sunstripe. Sunstripe, yeah. 
a bit orangey with some orangey stripes on our body. Yeah, it's very hard to film so uh, see, so long, is it? it's yeah. very hard, no joke. Very hard, no yeah. joke. Yeah. When I took picture of them I took I cost us a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> see? One just died. One just died. <laughs> one just died in front of me. <laughs> No way. I don't, want, I don't want him to die, so don't touch him, okay? We, we, we try to film around. Okay, see? Fresh. Fresh, fresh. Very fresh. <laughs> Very fresh. <laughs> fresh yeah. So now we see streams, there's a lot we call rock dwellers. Rock dwellers means they are always holding on to something. Yeah. Means like Harlequin, Tigris, Red Line, Galaxy, Yellow Chick, Yellow Nose, they are all rock dwellers. So when you have something for them to hold on, they will definitely hold on to it. That also makes it very hard for us to take pictures of them or videos of them. They are nature to crowd together when they are stressed. They can't get used to the lights. Yeah. So they were definitely... They like dark, yeah? Yes. That's why you don't have much Actually, light here. They, they yeah. don't really don't say don't like the lights, but the thing is they don't, they don't like to look at us. Yeah. <laughs> Once we go, yeah. <laughs> they will start high. <laughs> you can see them start moving, yeah. all, all start yeah. moving. Yeah. Yeah. They are nice species, but of course, like I say, they are not easy to keep. They are not easy to keep. So what is your water parameters in Sulawesi type? Um, actually, the rocks are the same as Neos because they are all the Sulawesi. So the pH will be 7.6 to 8.3. My KH is 1 to 3. That's for sure. The TDS for my stream is 150 to 180 ppm. This one cannot go too high. Because the thing is, if you go too high, after they mode, they will sure die. The GH. Because they use all their body strength to actually mode out and after that majority of them will be stuck in the mode and they will die from there. Die from there. So the thing about solar VC control environment is very very important because of the water evaporation and not wait until the water evaporate until this amount your TDS is already shooting then you top up then your stream are already adapting. When your streams keep adapting adapting to different parameters it makes them very very weak. Once you shock them they may die from it. So the thing about solar VC is either you love them or you hate them. <laughs> I think you love them anyway. Yeah, even they die on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, to me, even the whole tank die, I got no feeling. <laughs> I really got used to it. But yeah. the thing is, it must be because of me or what I did. Oh, something died. My neck went in. I disturbed the shit. Oh, it died. It's okay, but if it's not me, then uh, <laughs> that's why the thing about solar we see when we net our streams or what, when customer always say, I will net it for you. Because the thing is, if it die, it's on me. Yeah. But if you, you net and you tell me it post all the stream die, I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you because me? So, of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but keeping solar we see is fun, it's rewarding. Yeah. Because the thing is that you see them, once you don't see them hiding, Actually, they are okay. So watch them from far, and they will not hide from you. <laughs> watch them from far, they will not hide from you. But once you go there, you can oh, see yeah. all starts to hide. They start to hide straight yeah. away, yeah. All starts to hide. Yeah. So we have another rock here. These yeah. are what we talked about just now, the OE metallic that I'm doing now. Uh -huh. So I'm still waiting for the jeans to stable. Mm -hmm. yep. So you can see a lot of streamlets. So I'm hoping that this round, they'll be better. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are our own closing, our own closing so it's going to take some time now. It's going to take some time with the OE BKK, but my OE BKK is already showing a tin of purple here. Orange there. eye, blue King Kong, yeah? Uh, black King Kong. Uh, black King Kong, yeah, sorry. I cross it with my metallic. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just wait, seeing how the jeans go when they go bigger. Uh -huh. yeah, so this is just a project yeah. of mine. Then this one, OE yellow, OE yeah. blue steel or blue devil. And you oh, can see some I greenish seen one. Them, yeah. And you can see some greenish one inside also. Yeah. Yep. I can yeah. see you have a, like a little UGF box yeah, here, yeah, yeah. very this small one. Yeah. The mini yeah. UGF, mini one. Uh, the mini yeah. UGF for yeah. 10 liter tank. La. Below are all the orange eye cross. Uh -huh. So I have a lot of gene streams inside. You get orange eye red dragon, and orange eye black dragon. There's a uh -huh. lot of different cross inside. So it's like a, your personal project, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. For the stream market, I think a lot of new variations are not coming out now. Only OEs are the one having some new variation now. But the rest of the stream, they can only finalize it or beautify it. But that's not much coming up. I'm focusing now is on the OEs and to see whether there's any other new variants we can come up for. Can you make Orange Eye Galaxy stream? Is it possible? I tried before. Yeah. Hard. Very hard, yeah. Really hard. The thing is, you can see a lot of orange eyes outside or golden eyes, they talk about the white jeans. The white jeans is all from the Pintos and the Galaxies, you see. I would say it's very hard to get a 
full nice coloration of that piece it's really very hard i won't say there's no okay. i did see someone who has it but maybe one or two pieces but the thing is how the jeans stable it needs years this stream i oh. brought it for showcase in uh -huh. the 2022 aquatic yeah. show in expo uh -huh. so i brought 20 pieces over for uh -huh. display and the 20 pieces that i brought there i just threw them here and so one year later you can see how many <laughs> They so this is one year this result are, from 20 shrimp. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I call them OE Red Phantom. Oh. They may look like Red Devil from far, uh -huh. but the thing is when you look closely at their body uh -huh. stripes, you can see some of their body stripes, they do have the Galaxy trademark, which oh, yeah. we were saying just now. Yeah. But this Galaxy trademark has become transparent and translucent. Uh -huh. That's why I don't give them the name of OE Red Galaxy, which some of them outside look there, like, yeah. they may say it's OE that, Red yeah. or even OE Red Dragon, yeah, but they are not. You can see this piece. It might look like OE Red Dragon, but it's not. Because Red Dragon, they have the spots here which give them the name Red Dragon. Yeah. Because of the inconsistent look, you will be able to find some consistent one. I gave them the name OE Red Phantom. They give me the more ghostly look which I like about them. So this is the start of creating uh, I wouldn't say this is the start, but yeah. this one I have been doing them for a minimum a minimum of four years to five years. Wow. I have been breeding yeah. them for a minimum of four years to five years. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to finalize their look mm -hmm. as of now. But if you see my Facebook and on the cover picture, that is the look I want. That's how it keeps me going in stream. Breeding stream is easy now. So creating something following the trend or setting the trend. So it's up to you. A lot of guys that say, hey, wow, your stream is so beautiful. But the thing is, at the end of the day, these are all creation from our own hard work or through years to come. You know what I mean? So that's the fun of stream keeping. That's the fun of stream keeping. PRL. PRL, yep. Yeah. Yep. No, not left now, but mm -hmm. they are slowly breeding their numbers back again. Mm -hmm. Because I saw quite a number of it. <laughs> I saw quite a number of it. And the only thing in my shop, uh, we've saw it now. Oh uh, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> this tank was set up like three months ago. Because so it's a fresh tank, yeah? Fresh yep, setup. Yep. Yep. So mm -hmm. this, I wouldn't say it's a new variation, but this is a variation of the Galaxy Stardust, which I personally quite mm -hmm. like as of mm -hmm. now. So I'm trying to grow, make more of them. So you can see some of the offspring, they are actually, actually having the trademarks of their parents. Mm -hmm. So it takes time. And you can see there's one very translucent mm -hmm. male and I found the another translucent male <laughs> behind. Uh <-huh>. So <laughs> majority inside are all females. So you can see this one will definitely be a cow. Definitely mm -hmm. it's gonna be a cow because at, at this age, it's still translucent. Over here, pure black lines. Pure black lines, yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Pure black lines. Definitely not a hit in trim work, which mm -hmm. I would say not a lot of guys are keeping, but I still like them. So yeah. I'm still keeping them, still breeding them. Same thing. Lots so, of babies here. Oh my yeah, god. A lot, a lot. This is your new hobby, right? Um, I would say yes. After getting fully aquatic for so long, we are looking at something which is semi-aquatic. Uh-huh. And let's take a look at them. Vampire the, the crabs. Vampire crabs yeah? yep, this is yeah. what we call the blue bonio. Yeah. Very colorful species. Yeah. And a lot of guys say, do they bite? Actually, they don't really sting you or bite you, but don't put your finger to them and let them bite. <laughs> and yeah. they are very shy species. So they are intent they always hide around inside. Yeah. Yep. So they are semi-aquatic, which means they are half land, half half water. So, so that's what you create why you create the little yeah this one kit. is yeah. for retail we are not supposed to keep so many of them together because they are territorial so you have to mm -hmm. give them more hiding space mm -hmm. so that's why i cut the egg crate with a lot of holes so they can hide mm -hmm. and try to minimize the thing because this is still retail area uh, we can't afford the space to give them one container each and i don't like to keep them in containers mm -hmm. because stale water so i still prefer to give them a very simple filtration for their retail tank so i do Water change quite. What, what filtration you have here? Oh, just a sponge filter. Just, just a, a sponge, normal, very just a tiny sponge, sponge filter. filter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I feed them? I still feed them my shrimp for so much. So we see nails, caridina. So you feed everything with your Oh, my shrimp. 
<laughs> even crabs, yeah? Yeah, even crabs. Right. This is another species, and if you look closely, there's a smiley face here. Oh, yeah. There's a smiley face here, so yeah. you're still eating on the boat. So what and they this, are here? Sorry, this one is the purple one. Purple one. Yeah, the yellow, yellow back. You can see it's purplish. Can you see? And they are very funny species. Uh. So how we see the male and female, if you eat crabs, you should know, you look at the bottom. Uh -huh. There's pointy one and a round one. So the male and female. So normally when I put them inside our crabarium or polydarium or something, mm. I will choose actually one male and two female. So okay. to prevent, prevent the aggression. Aggression, yeah. yeah. Because they are still territorial, no matter male or female. They are territorial. Oh, beautiful crab. Yeah. It's a so pink one, yeah? Oh, sorry, purple Yeah, that one is a male. male so yeah. males, they tend to be bigger in size. Normally, mm. normally. The bigger one they are here? Uh, these are full purple. Or from far, you see they look like black. So they may look like black, but when in water, you can see them closely, so the coloration. Mm -hmm. mm. You can see it's purple. Yeah, in water, they are more colorful, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, the name of this vampire crab is called Bate because you, you look at the coloration. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not a lot of guys like it, but I actually fell in love with them. You see? Yeah, they, the do jump, they, do the jump, they do jump. They do jump. Yeah. And so, uh, why we cover them up? Because they actually can climb up your silicone. So this is a full set for crabs already set, cycles set, and you're selling them? Yeah? yeah, we are selling them full set yeah. including the crabs itself. Three crabs, normally mm -hmm. If I'm able to choose from there, I will choose one male and two female for you guys. And you have already filter there, or is it? Yeah, really yeah, just there's a filter? a filter. It's a filter. I never yeah. seen that filter. Is this like a corner? Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, a very small corner filter. It that. looks like a hang-on filter, but mm, is it just a, goes in the corner? I would say it's a waterfall filter, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I also don't know. And now tell me about this tank. It's yeah. the only fish in your shop, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. this tank is only for my personal pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, because the thing is, we have been looking at shrimp for so long, so you want to look at something big. Yes, yes. And this is the Asian arowana uh, uh, yeah. shrimp, I said. Uh, <laughs> Fish. Fish, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of fierce character inside, uh -huh. including the... This arowana, yeah. I wouldn't think you should call them uh, albino, but it should be lacoustic. Mm -hmm. This one, because the thing is that the eye, every mm -hmm. time when I off the light, it becomes red. Well, when I on the light, after a few hours, it becomes black. So I don't think it's albino, so it's like the It's a 24K go arowana. Then you get two big IT Indian, in, <laughs> Indo Tiger, do Fantosa. Uh, these are the most fierce ones. Pico Bus. <laughs> a lot of guys think that discus are very shy, timid. Yeah. But discus yeah. are chick legs. They are also cyclic, so they are also territorial, they are also fierce. And another one, angelfish, they are also yeah. cyclic. It's only single one, eh? yeah, yeah, only single one. Yeah. So, but the thing is, they, are, they have been living together for one, two years, coming, mm -hmm. coming two years, I think. Because when I got the arrows, one, arrow one, they were so small. Mm -hmm. yeah. How long you one, one year? One, one year? year, so one they year. grow in your tank, yeah? Yeah, they grew here. Yeah. But of course, a lot of guys may say, oh, the tank is not wide enough. Uh -huh. But the thing to me is just pressure because once they grow big enough, I just put them to my pond. Because for over here, it's just for me to view and see them and see mm -hmm. them swim around. Mm. And you feed them with your shrimp sometimes, no? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> How you do reset your tanks? You just change your box? Let's go take yeah. a look here. Yeah. Get a container. When we do set up a tank, we actually put a deck. Two years old, yeah? Two years. So <laughs> long they are breathing fine, yeah. I don't reset. Bro, three years. 20. Three years. Yeah? Still breathing fine. Yeah. Let it be. I can see you have a not very strong floor most of the tanks. Is it normal for that? If your setup is right, even if your UGF is not moving, there's no issue. All right. Using our setup, no worries about doing 80 to 90% water change with the stream inside. You want me to show you? We don't choose the cheap stream. But why I like to do major water change, this will help me eliminate the weaker stream. My streams from born till death, if they are still with me, they'll be eating only one food, nothing else. And don't force your stream to breathe. Because once they breathe, they'll have a shorter lifespan. If everything is right, breathing will come naturally. 
Thank you, Derek, for this awesome tour. I really enjoy that. You have a quite collection of regime here. It was nice to meet you here in Singapore. And guys, if you want to see my next video, I'm going to do an interview with Derek. I'm going to ask a lot of questions about the shrimp keeping. And we're going to get all the secrets from this guy. He's not going to hide anything from us. So if you don't want to miss this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop me a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you, Derek.